Nearly 250 people have starved to death within the last two months. And the UN warns that this might only be the beginning. 11-month-old Yusuf has acute malnutrition and he urgently needs to be treated. His parents fled their village after drought moved in. And this public health center in Baidua might be Yusuf's last chance. My child fell sick several times before he was admitted. There is not enough food at home and he lost his appetite, then stopped eating. That's why he became so weak. But our biggest problem is food. We have nothing to eat. Other women at this hospital have similar stories to tell. They've walked hundreds of kilometers just to get here. We were busy traveling, struggling to keep our livestock alive. While the whole family was busy with survival, we then realized that the child hadn't eaten anything and he had become very weak to the extent that he could not stand. Health centers in Mogadishu and Baidua are struggling to cope with the increasing demand of people who have left drought hit areas to seek medical attention. The aid agencies are already complaining about lack of funds to be able to support these medical centers. It's a fairly acute malnutrition. And what we see in here, day by day, it is increasing due to the drought effect that is uh, caused by indifferent sections like uh, acute watery diarrhea, uh, vomiting, fever, and also lack of food for the families because of, and, and also water. Between 2010 and 2012, around 260,000 people died from hunger. And this year's famine has already given signals that things could turn out even worse. Fidelis Mba, TLT World, Baidoa, Somalia.